Here we are going to study the image formation in case of concave mirrors. A concave mirror is a part of a hollow sphere inside of which is either polished or coated to turn into a reflecting surface. So this is the center of the parent sphere. We are going to draw radial line through that center and we will uh, treat this as the axis. On the axis we have placed an object and we will be considering two cases. In one case the object is placed between the mirror and the center and in this case it is placed beyond the center. To get the image we are going to start with a ray, say a ray parallel to the axis like this over here and over here and this ray wherever it strikes uh, the mirror uh, at that point we'll be drawing a normal. Now what is a normal? A normal is kind of perpendicular but here we are dealing with a surface so we call it a normal. So this is a spherical surface. But although this is a spherical surface we see it only as a circular arc and a normal to a circular arc is nothing but its radius. So we have drawn this radius which serves as a normal. Now there is one nice thing about normals the incident ray and the reflected ray make equal angles with the normals and therefore if we can measure the angle between the incident ray and the normal the same angle can be repeated or reproduced on the other side to get the reflected ray like this. So our image will be formed somewhere on this line the reflected ray but we don't know which point uh, it will be formed at on that ray. For that we need one more ray. So let us take another ray, this time a ray that passes through the center like this when, when uh, extended if needed and uh, again it will get reflected of course but because it is passing through the center this ray is radial. So it is also normal uh, for that location. So it just gets reflected back on itself. So now we have two reflected rays, the one that we got earlier and the one that we just got. So wherever these two rays intersect, that is where the image will be formed. So let us get that point of intersection and the image will be formed like this. Now that we have the image, we can observe several things. Number one in the top case, the first case, the image is below the axis while the object was above the axis so the image is inverted but the image is formed not beyond the mirror but it is formed in front of the mirror so this image can be uh, taken on a screen we can actually place an object and the image will be projected on that object at this location so this is a real but inverted upside down image uh, in the second case over here the image formed is beyond the mirror okay not behind the mirror but beyond the mirror or inside the mirror and therefore no one can reach there with a screen and actually get hold of it so it is a virtual image but it is a magnified image you can see the object is much smaller than the image and the image is also upright so it is not upside down like in like this first case so in the first case uh, this image can be used for further processing. For example, you can take this image and look at it through say a magnifying glass like they do in reflecting uh, type of uh, uh, telescopes. While in the second case, you are getting an image which is upright. So it is easy to read and uh, it is also magnified. So if you want to see a reflection which is magnified, say a case when uh, someone is shaving, so to see even the final uh, stubble on uh, the face, this kind of mirror will be pretty useful. So concave mirrors are used as shaving mirrors here and they are also used in telescopes.